Welcome to Awaken Within's series on lucid dreams. I'd like to start each of these videos off with a short introduction on dreams, just in case you haven't seen any of the videos on the Weekly Awakening on YouTube or Facebook. So our dreams, three things I always like to re remind people or let people know about our dreams is that one, they are a reflection of the way that we use our mind, a reflection of our thoughts and mental attitudes and our consciousness. And two, that our dreams are about us, the person experiencing the dreams, the dreamer. And this is because number three, every person, place, or thing within a dream is a part of the dreamer. And so our dreams are messages from our inner self, our subconscious mind, to our outer waking mind, our conscious mind. And our conscious mind is the temporary part of ourselves, and the subconscious mind is a more permanent part of ourselves. And the subconscious mind never rests, it never sleeps, so it is aware of everything that the conscious mind is aware of and awake to, as well as all the things we, that we remain unconscious to. And so it's a, a great form of insight from ourselves. It's no, nothing from an outer source, not to say that you can't get information about yourself and be more self-aware through something outside of yourself. However, it, this is from you. And these messages are messages to help us improve how we're using our mind, how we're living our lives, and how, how to become better people. You know, it, it could be a lesson that we need to learn, and it can convey how we have learned that lesson. It could be that we have learned a lesson, and it'll explain to us how we learned that lesson so we can replicate that in the future. It's amazing experiencing dreams. It's a need to write down your dreams. It is very critical to interpret those dreams. However, none of that even matters if you don't apply the message that the dreams are giving you. Just as if in this hotel in D.C., you know, someone comes in and tells me that the hotel's on fire, that's good. That's, that's a message. I'm, I'm, I'm get, receiving a message. It's like receiving a dream from the subconscious mind. However, if I can continue to sit here in this chair and do nothing about the message that I received, then it's pointless. Who, you know, it, they might as well skip my door and move on to someone else. So it is very important to heed the message that the subconscious mind is giving to you so that you can continue to grow spiritually and continue with your own progression, soul progression. I have a whole series on how to interpret dreams and universal language of mind on the Weekly Awakening in Facebook and on Awaken Within in YouTube. So check those out because that will be part of the exercise given in the instruction in becoming better at lucid dreaming. And so now that I explained a little bit about dreams, I will explain a little bit about lucid dreams and the purpose of lucid dreaming. And a lucid dream is when you are conscious of the dream that you're experiencing. And like I said, the first rule of dreams that dreams are a reflection of our mind. So if a lucid dream means that you're awake and aware within the dream, then that means that there's a reflection of lucidity within the conscious mind. And so I want to speak on that for a moment, being lucid in your waking life, because that is the very first thing necessary in becoming lucid in your dreams. Without that, it will be impossible. And so what do I mean by being lucid while you're awake? Because I am lucid, am I? Am I not? Not always. There are many times when we are not present in what we are currently experiencing. Much like you can be talking to someone, audibly your ears are hearing their words, visually your eyes are seeing them and their lips moving. However, if your attention is so far into the mental and you're daydreaming about something else or you're thinking about your own thoughts that what you're wanting to say, then you will not be able to hear what they're saying or see the things around you. And so you need to wake up. And the more that you are able to do this throughout the day, then the more you will be adept at creating lucid dreams and being lucid while you're dreaming. So as I said in the intro video, the ability to have a lucid dream will reflect your ability to be lucid in the waking life, which means your ability to be fully aware of your thoughts. So the consciousness mirroring is us creating what we want the dream to reflect. So a purpose in this is to begin to be able to control the thoughts that we're having throughout the day, thus controlling the message that we are going to receive within the dream. So how this is going to work is that you will have one topic one word per day for 13 days. These 13 words in the 13 days are first, honesty, peace, 
trust, integrity, friendship, forgiveness, courage, prosperity, self-value, love, joy, respect, and humility. And I'll provide you with many different steps that will help you in doing this. The first step that you're going to want to take every morning before you start your day is to journal about this word. Journal all of the thoughts that come to mind when you think of this word, all the things that you understand this word to mean, and uh, as much as you can about this word. So for honesty, for example, just journal as much as you can think of about what the word honesty means, uh, your relationship to honesty, how you feel you are honest, how you feel you can improve at honesty, um, just whatever comes to mind about honesty. And you'll want to write this for about 10 to 15 minutes um, nonstop, just like allowing yourself to freely write until, until you have nothing else to write about, just as much as you can. The more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of this. And also be sure to include within your journaling ways that you can better harmonize with this word, because this will really bring to the forefront all of the thoughts and ideas that you can have to practice throughout the day to better harmonize with this word. The second thing that you're going to want to do is create a strong affirmation for each topic. Now what I like to do with affirmations is create an affirmation in the first person, the second person, and the third person form. That way I am reprogramming the thoughts that I have about myself, the thoughts that I feel other people have about me, and because my subconscious mind can pick up not only what I physically hear, but also what other people think, it will also change the thought. It will also help to reprogram the thoughts that I have received and accepted that other people have thought about me. So, for example, say in my journaling, I discovered that I don't like being honest. Well, then a good affirmation to come up with is, I, Tarak, am honest. I, Tarak, enjoy being honest. You, Tarak, are honest. You, Tarak, enjoy being honest. He, Tarak, is honest. He, Tarak, enjoys being honest. And you want to put your name in that, to call out to yourself, to reprogram this and, and affirm it even more. You know, maybe in my journaling, I discover that uh, my thoughts are always scattered and I'm always unnerved and anxious. Well, then, with the peace affirmation, I can write, I, Tarak, experience more and more peace with each passing moment. You, Tarak, experience more and more peace with each passing moment. He, Tarak, experiences more and more peace with each passing moment. And be sure to use your name, not my name. <laughs> you know, maybe with the trust in the journaling, I discovered that I don't trust other people because it's difficult to trust myself, and I, and I never knew that before. So now I want to uh, acknowledge and tackle the deeper issue of trusting myself so that I can then learn to trust other people. So a good affirmation then to write would be, the more I talk, trust myself, the easier it is to trust others. And the more that others trust me, the easier it is to trust myself. The more you talk, trust yourself, the easier it is to trust others. And the more others trust you talk, the easier it is for you to trust others. The more he talk, trusts himself, the easier it is for others to trust him. And the more others trust him, Tarak, the easier it is for him to trust others. You know, a good example for integrity is, I, Tarak, do everything with integrity. You, Tarak, do everything with integrity. He, Tarak, does everything with integrity. Maybe for friendship, you can say one like, I, Tarak, am forming a strong friendship with myself, which will only strengthen my friendship with others. You, Tarak, form, are forming a strong friendship with yourself, which will only create stronger friendships with others. He, Tarak, is forming a strong friendship with himself, which will only create stronger friendships with others. For forgiveness, maybe you can say, I, Tarak, forgive myself, and I forgive those who have hurt me. You, Tarak, forgive yourself, and you've forgiven those who have hurt you. He, Tarak, forgive him, forgives himself, and he's forgiven those who have hurt him. Maybe for courage. I, Tarak, have the courage to learn from every experience. You, Tarak, have the courage to learn from every experience. He, Tarak, has the courage to learn from every experience. For prosperity. Uh, I, Tarak, deserve to be prosperous and I'm willing to receive it. You, Tarak, deserve to be prosperous and you're willing to receive it. He, Tarak, deserves to be prosperous and he's willing to receive it. For self-value, you know. I, Tarak, am valuable. I, Tarak, am worthy. You, Tarak, are valuable. You, Tarak, are worthy. He, Tarak, is valuable. He, Tarak, is worthy. For love, you could say, I, Tarak, love myself. You, Tarak, love yourself. He, Tarak, loves himself. Be very simple. For 
with joy. Maybe in my journaling, I discover that I've never really experienced joy. So I can put I rock experience joy, you rock experience joy, he rock experiences joy. You know, with respect, maybe, maybe I feel that no one respects me. And so then the affirmation for that, for that day, I could say, I rock respect myself. And others respect me as well. You rock respect yourself, and others respect you as well. He rock respects himself, and others respect him as well. For humility, maybe it's really hard for me to humble myself, so I can just simply say, I rock humble myself. You rock humble yourself. He rock humbles himself. And so the key to these affirmations is that you're creating a new thought because thought is cause. And so by thinking this thought, then you are creating something new. Now a lot of people use affirmations. And they only succeed with them as much as they use the affirmation. That's why I choose to use my affirmations as mantras. You know, they continually are thinking in my head. Because it doesn't help to think, you know, I am worthy, I am valuable 10 times a day. And then throughout the rest of the day, you know, 500 times, I think thoughts of, that are completely opposite of that. Like, I am not worthy, I don't deserve this, you know, things like that. You know, then it's not going to outgrow those other thoughts. And so the key is to think that thought continually throughout the day. And so that's the next thing that you're going to do once you've created your affirmation for the day. You're going to journal about the word, create an affirmation upon it, and then you will use that word as a mantra throughout the day, saying that word a thousand to two thousand times at least. And that seems like a lot, but it's not really that difficult. You know, take I am valuable, I, I track and valuable, I track and worthy. You track and valuable, you track and worthy. He track is valuable, he track is worthy. There's three right there already. Now if you say that 10 times, then that's 30. And it takes no time at all. You can say that within one minute. And so that's one minute out of the day, you already have 30 times. So 10 minutes out of the day, you already have 300 times. And so then if you take three different increments of 10 minutes, then you have 900 times you've already said it. And then you just add a little bit more here and there. Then you've already, within 30 minutes, spread throughout the day, said it a thousand times. And now me, what I like to do, just because I've practiced a lot, I've also practiced concentration for many years, I will say it to a thousand, two thousand times before I ever even make it to work. While I'm first waking up, you know, whenever I'm working on an affirmation, uh, I, when I first wake up, to when I'm brushing my teeth, to when I'm taking a shower, to when I'm you know, get, eating breakfast, when I'm driving to work, I'm just continually saying this either in my mind or out loud, whatever you like. Either one will work. Out loud works better, but it doesn't mean that you know saying it, it to yourself in your mind won't work at all. So I'll be sitting there brushing my teeth saying, I track and value, I track and worthy, you track and value, you track and worthy, he tracks value, he tracks worthy. I track and value, I track and worthy, you track and value, you track and worthy, he track is value, you track is worthy. I'm sitting there eating my food. I track and value, I track and worthy, you track and value, you track and worthy. You know, I'm sitting there driving. I track and valuable, I track and worthy. I, you track and valuable, you track and worthy. He track and valuable, he track and worthy. You know, so that by the time I even clock into work, I've already said it probably like five, six hundred times. And I just continue that on throughout the day. If I'm not consciously engaged in the present moment with something needing my attention, then I am within, then I'm consciously choosing to go within my mind or to say out loud, but to remain in my mind, reprogramming these thoughts of being worthy and being valuable. Because that is how you're going to do that. Because thoughts are just like plants. And so I'm watering the seed uh, that I'm planting of uh, being valuable and being worthy. And the water is like my attention that I'm feeding this. And so if I'm giving all of my water to this seed over here, then the weed that is over here is not going to have any nutrients to receive from the earth. Because it's getting absolutely no water. So after a while, it'll dry and shrivel up. Because all of the attention is being given to this seed over here. And so then the brain, the brain which mirrors the mind, will then begin to fire off in new ways. And so it'll be more difficult to think thoughts of seeing yourself as not valuable and not having worth. It'll be easier to think thoughts of having value and having worth. I mean, it is difficult at first, you know, just like, you know, if you're riding on a bike trail, it's much easier to stay on the path that's already been, been ridden for many times than it is to just blaze over here to the left and start you a new path. But after a while, that new path will become easier and easier. And that's what you're doing. So the more that you do this, then the easier it'll become. You know, if you only if you say it 100 times a day, then it'll take you, you know, 10 times longer to get it done than if you're saying it 1,000 times a day. 
And so now you've gone all day long with saying this affirmation. You've journaled in the beginning on your thoughts about this and the relationship with, that you have with this word. You've created an affirmation, a strong affirmation. You've said it, you're saying it in first person, second person, third person. And so now at the end of the day, what you will want to do is journal again about the day's experience. How have your thoughts about this word changed? How has your relationship to it changed? How has your understanding of this word changed and evolved? And you wanna do this, you wanna journal just before you go to bed. And then you will prepare to write down your dream. Because like I said in the intro video, the key to lucid dreaming is going to be creating that relationship with your subconscious mind. And the way that is done is by communicating and recording this communication. Because you writing down your dream, interpreting your dream, is your communication back to your subconscious mind. And so when you do the nightly journal, you will then write, write down in your dream journal, I will remember my dream, you know, write down the day. Um, I, when, I was doing, when, I, when I was doing this specific exercise, I would also write down the word there and draw a picture of that word or something, you know, just to kind of let myself know of my kind of frame of mind and understanding of it in the moment um, so that I can reflect on it later. And then I would lay down and go to sleep. And then when you wake up, you'll write down the dream, you know, go to my video on uh, how to interpret dreams. Uh, dreams what do they mean on youtube and it uh, explains very well in detail how to record how to best record dreams um, and and learning how to interpret them and then when you wake up interpret the dream you know have lots of symbols and even more going on to the website or onto the uh, youtube channel um, explaining what symbols mean so you can go there to learn how to uh, interpret the dreams and, and break down the symbols and in interpreting the dreams and then you want to interpret that dream and identify how it relates to you creating that consciousness of yesterday. So if your word the day before was self-value, then you will want to look at the interpretation and see how the dream was reflecting the, the consciousness that you were creating the day before. And just work on this and practice this and work on this and practice this. And what this will be doing is really cultivating a strong back and forth call and response between you and your dreams. Because like I said, our dreams are reflections of our consciousness, of the way that we're using our mind the day before. And so if you've done each of these things every day for 13 days, you've journaled about the word or topic, you have created a strong affirmation to reprogram some deep thought that you, that you had, that you've discovered through journaling, and you've said that affirmation over a thousand times that day Rejournaled a new understanding and then wrote down the dream and did that 13 times throughout the day You are going to progress your consciousness And so if you are progressing your consciousness, then you will be progressing your dream dream recall and You will be progressing the quality of your dreams And so through this progression you will be progressing the relationship that you have with your dreams And that will be a huge first step in moving into becoming a lucid dreamer and becoming a master of your dreams so I leave this here to you. Practice this for the next 13 days at least, or maybe the next 26 days. And then once you feel comfortable in having a, at least a handful of good experiences with this process in this step, then feel free to move on to the next step, step two in the lucid dreaming. And the second step in the lucid dreaming series is going to be on re-entering dreams. So thank you, I wish you well. And I uh, look forward to hearing about your experiences. And as always, I leave you in peace.